Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be setting up my binders for Kepler, Ive, and TXT's comebacks for the month of September and October. So as you can see, I already have my pen and then my post-it notes. I use these mini ones because I just like the way that they look in the binder over the regular sized little post-it notes and then i have my fillers i have some hollow ones that i will occasionally use but for right now i'm going to use the simple ones um people always ask what size these are i honestly don't know i basically just took cardstock paper and cut it to size of the pocket page now there is a difference because for ives binder it is an a5 size which means the pockets are slightly smaller than a regular a4 and 9 pocket and so i would usually use these hollow ones because they're slightly smaller than the regular hollow if you compare it to size but i don't know where i put the packet of this i literally can't find it anywhere and i only have two so i'm just going to directly put the post-it notes on the binder instead and when i find my missing sleeves i'm going to be obviously organizing that binder so i'm going to start off with ives binder first so here I have my Ive binder, which is the A5 that I use, and then I'm going to be referencing everything from K-Town for you. Okay, so I pre-ordered mine from Starship Square in order for like to get more pre-order benefits, but this is the set that I bought. It has three versions of the album with OT6 little jewel cases, but there is actually another version that is included in the set, which is the Loved Ive album that is not included in the set that I bought. So I'm gonna be making another order for Starship, which is gonna be this set right here. So I will end up with another set of albums and then I'm going to buy an individual Loved Ive album. So that will be two of this and then two sets. So it should be enough for me to, you know, try and at least complete and trade off for Gal and Won Young's. Okay, so according to the album, like I said, there's three versions. I'm just looking at how many photo cards it has. So it looks like there's only one photo card per version. So I'm going to make those. Okay, so I got my fillers. I ended up putting three extra, but I think the other one should be here as well. And then it's just the same thing for the Loved Ive album. It's just one photo card. And then there are some pre-order benefits, but like I said, I ordered mine from Starship and I didn't really understand how many pre-order benefits are going to be included because there's pre-order benefits that are included when you buy the album. They usually consider like first press or something, but I know that each store has like individual pre-order benefits and I didn't see them on the Starship. Oh, never mind so there is some for starship but you get the three pops with the loved eye you get these it's a double-sided photo card but i did not buy the set i bought this one okay so according to this you get a photo card but i don't know if you get a photo card set and then you get a group photo and that's like the pre-order benefits if you bought this set but i'm also going to be buying the other set which will come with some more pre-order benefits. So I think I'm going to hold off on putting and marking down the pre-order benefits. Fully understand what I'm getting. But I do know that I'm going to be putting the digipacks. But I do collect OT6 for those. So that is it for I've. And then I'm just going to go all the way at the end. Which should be right here. So we're going to start off with... Either way. And then moving to off the record. And this is double sided, so I'm going to put Batty next. And then the Loved Eye album. 
And then I'm going to put some pops here because if there is different pops by buying the different sets, like buying the album plus the loved eye and then buying the album with the digi packs that should be around four there is going to be a group photo card so then here we can start with the digi packs on these pages and i think that will be it because i will probably end up being left over with a lot of other pre-order benefits if they do end up giving ot6 Again, this is my first time buying from Starship Square, so I don't know how it works for Ives pre-order benefits. I would always buy my albums from Music Plaza, and they would not come with any pre-order benefits. I would buy them from K-Town for You, and again, same thing, no pre-order benefits. So I am genuinely confused with these, but I'll try to figure it out later on. So that is it for Ive. Now I'm going to move on to TXT. Okay, so for the TXT, there is the regular albums which are three versions the gravity sets which are like five each is supposed to represent a member and then the weavers albums so we're going to start off with the albums first so for the photo cards there is two per version and there's three versions which means there is six in total per member so then i'm just going to write everything down So I got the fillers for the albums made. Now I'm gonna move on to the gravity version. Okay, so before I move on to the gravity version, I forgot about the pre-order benefits, which I did buy a set. So that means I am going to be getting three out of five members. Okay, so now we can move on to the gravity set. Okay, and there's only one photo card for the gravity set, so I'm just going to put OT5 so I can save some room. And then it says for gravity, you'll get the album case and you'll also get five pre-order benefits. So I'm just going to put the same thing, OT5 Weaver's Pops. I'll redo this with all of the members' names later on. And while I'm at here, it also gives the Weaver's pre-order benefits at the bottom and so you'll end up with two photo cards out of five along with an L holder. So now I'm going to move on to the Weaver's albums. Now for the Weaver's albums there is a QR code and because I am ordering the set I will end up with two. And again, there's two photo cards per version. And that is it for TXT. Now I'm just going to add everything into the binder. The binder pages that I use for my A4 binders, my line pocket pages are from Herka. You can find them linked in my Amazon storefront and I honestly genuinely really love these. They're clear, they don't get foggy at all and they are, as you can see, really really nice and they also fit the regular standard Dragon Shield sleeves. So I always start off with the regular albums, so this is how I'm going to be laying them out. And then I will be getting three Reavers pre-order benefits, so I'm just going to put these down here. And that is it for the first page. And then for the second page, it is OT5 Gravity Albums, which I usually fill up these right here. And then, and then I'm supposed to have the, because this is one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. So there's obviously going to be one member missing. So let me just see how I organized for this page. So for this, it seems like I split the members up. So I'm going to put the five gravity photo cards up here. And then the first three pre-order benefits right here. And then for this page, since these three are going to be actually these two, 
maybe three, I might end up getting another Yeonjun pop like I did for Temptation Era. I'm going to put the Weavers ones here. Or actually, let me stick to album photo cards. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then there's gonna be like more photo cards here. So I have four, so I'm gonna put the A right here. And continue off with A over here. And then B version right here. And that way that fills up all of the regular album photo cards. And then we move on to the pre-order benefits along with the QR codes. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So you can put the pre-order benefits right there. And then we have more pre-order benefits right here. And then the QR codes will go right here. And that way all of the pages are filled up. Now I'm left with an extra page, which I'll just remove. And so it looks weird because I, have, I don't have all the fillers out yet, but this is how my layout is going to be. So that means I am done with TXT and I'm going to move on to Kepler. Okay, so for Kepler, there is the three versions of the album, and then I believe there's OT9 platform versions. Um, I haven't seen that there is any digipacks or jewel cases for this album, which I'm really happy. Could possibly mean there is less photo cards than the previous era. So I am going based off k Town for You's photos, but I am going to be pre-ordering mine from M-Wave. I'm just waiting to see if M-Wave is going to be doing signed albums or signed platforms. So I could see what I'm going to be ordering. I know for sure that I will be getting from here, but if you guys know M-Wave, M-Wave literally announces like a week or two weeks before the album is released. So I'm not going to have anything or any idea, which means I'm going to have to not which I'm not going to be putting the pre-order benefits because it does come with a k Town for You special gift. I'm not adding those in yet as I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be ordering. But honestly, let me just say it, this album might be my favorite. Like the concept is amazing. The album covers themselves are just absolutely stunning. And the track list just sounds just amazing to me. So we're going to go with, or actually I might just end up pre-ordering a set. Just like I always do. And then I just end up buying doubles on M-Wave. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but I haven't ordered anything for Coupler yet. I've ordered for TXT and I've, I'm still missing Couplers. So we're still doing the exact same thing as the previous eras in which there is three different photo card sets per version. So let me set this up. Okay, I'm not going to individually write the members names at the moment because I just don't have time to write all of them right now so i'm just gonna do this for now this one is beloved version and then there is the sun kissed version and for the final version it is moonlighted Okay, and that is it for the regular albums. Now, there does say that there is a pre-order benefit, but I don't know if this is k Town for You's pre-order benefit or just like if you pre-order the albums. But it says that you get an OT9 set for every album. So I guess there's another photo card set that is included. I guess they're really spoiling us with photo cards this era. So then we have the OT9 set that is included. It doesn't say that this set is random. It literally just says nine each one set, which usually means that they are giving you an entire pre-order benefit set. And then you have a chance of obviously of getting a Polaroid, but only 135 Polaroids exist. And then we're gonna move on to the platform version. So the platform version has all of the members' names. I think, honestly, this might be the one that they're going to sign because it already is a different one for each one of the members. So there's the QR codes, which are nine to collect. Then there's the photo cards. It seems like there's only one photo card set this time. And then there's the group photo card. And then you get a Polaroid photo card. 
Oh, there's a selfie photo card in which you get two, but then here's the regular photo cards. And there's three photo cards per member, so we're just gonna have platform one, two, and three. Again, you get a Polaroid, but it's literally limited. Only nine people will get the Polaroid. And it seems like that is actually it for the platform albums. So I think I will be ordering mine from K-Town for you. Okay, and then that is it for the platform version. Now to add everything into the binder. So as you can see, my binder is pretty full. I just ran out of my Herka pocket pages, which means I'll probably end up ordering some more. But one thing that I've been debating about this is putting the photo cards front and back in order for me to save room and some pages because this binder is getting really filled up faster than I expected. So I'm going to add in just these for the meantime. So we have the first version of Beloved. And then should I just do front and back? I think I'm going to do front and back instead. So then we have the second one will go right here. And then we're gonna have the third one along with the pre-order benefits that it is included with. I think this way I'm gonna have lots of more room. And then we're moving on to Sun Kiss in which you're gonna have the first and the second version. That means I need to just give like a complete makeover to this binder. And then the third version along with the pre-order benefits. Moving on to the next album, which is Moonlighted. We have version one and two. And then I have version three plus the pre-order benefits. And then I'm going to be putting the platform versions, which comes with one, two. So version one and two will go right here. And then I'm going to put version 3 along with the... Actually, I should have probably started off with the selfie card. Because I think those are going to be better. So I'm going to have the version 1 and the selfie card. And then I'm going to put version 2 and 3 of the platform on here. That's gonna leave me with the QR code that is going to be OT9 as well as the Polaroid photo card. But there is a group photo card and I think it's just gonna be the exact same photo card, honestly. So I'm gonna put the group photo card and that actually left me with three extra pages while I was literally missing around like three or four pages. So I definitely think I'm going to be rearranging this binder and putting all of the photo cards front and back because right now at the moment, it is just, I was gonna say it's like a fourth of an inch, but it might actually be like way less. And the photo cards are about to be hitting the rings of this binder. So yeah, I'm most likely going to be ordering from k -Town for you. Um, so yeah. That is it for this binder setup. I'm sorry if it felt like a little bit rushed. I just did not want to completely fill everything up, you know, individually with members' names because that would have taken like such a long time. Um, I'll be doing that on my own time later on. But yeah, that is it for this bind up setup. I'm so excited for the comebacks. My wallet has obviously been hurting because it's July, pre-order benefits for ZB1, and then in August, pre-order benefits for Stacy, and then we're in September, which is Kepler and Ives' comeback, and then we're in October, which is going to be TXT's comeback, and then apparently Jungkook is thinking of dropping an album in the fourth quarter, and Hyphen is also either dropping an album or going on tour again for the fourth quarter, so it's just like so much is happening at the end of the year, but at least I know once all of my groups are done and their comebacks are finished i will have time to save up again for you know more comebacks later on 
this upcoming year so yeah thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions about anything feel free to comment i do try my best to answer everyone's messages all of the supplies i use including like the binder pages the sticky notes literally my cardstock paper are all linked below they're in the amazon storefront or they're in my card um as well as pocket pages that i use for like the a5 i use mondo decos and meow cafes i do have 10 percent off and an affiliation link are all below in the description so i hope that everyone has an amazing day so i'ma let the sun cry i'ma let my